wanted to make a video with uh, my take on fasting. Um, I feel like it's all about willpower. Uh, my overall assessment is fasting is amazing. It's, uh, it's great for your body. It's great for how you feel. Um, mm -hmm. I allow myself to get the biggest I've ever been in my life, uh, 351 pounds. And a few situations occurred, family, you know, and um, it was a real eye opener to, to you know, me letting myself know I, I needed to get control of my eating habits and my health in general. Uh, I took up uh, the watermelon once a day. Um, I would just eat one seeded watermelon sometimes the full watermelon most most times just the half and in the beginning like the first four days it's kind of difficult maybe first three days it was very difficult um then not not anymore it got easier as time went on um real real motivation to keep going when you can see for example this hoodie i i couldn't i couldn't wear it i couldn't get in the hoodie now it's it's on there's a little bit of room in it you know I, I couldn't wear it at all um so i dropped like 30 30 35 pounds um my goal is i want to eventually get all the way down to 180 um I'm at about three between. I'm teetering between 315 and 320 now. Um, I broke. I actually broke the stop the fasting, and I ate a little bit after a couple of weeks. Not happy about it, and I'm going back today. It's back on my day one and getting all the way back on the watermelon one time a day. Um, it's all about willpower. It's all about willpower. How committed to it you are, you know. Um, if you're not serious about it, I, I wouldn't even commit to anything long term because it's probably not going to happen. Uh, it's will, it's, it's willpower. How how committed are you? How serious are you about changing your life and, and getting control of your health and, and just disciplining yourself? If you're not serious about it, I, I promise you it's not going to work. Um, but if you are, you can do it. Anybody can do it. Trust me. If I could do it, anybody could do it. I, I I was to a point where I wasn't even eating because I was hungry. I would eat when I wasn't full. Sometimes I would just get a taste for something and I would eat it. Uh, not being hungry at all. I, I eat more for pleasure uh, than actually being hungry. There's not many times in my life that I'm actually hungry. It's happened, but not, you know, definitely not lately. Uh so my take on fasting is a great thing you feel amazing it's probably the best you'll feel you get a higher connection with god you, you get a better understanding of self you're more connected with the earth uh with people around you you feel energy different everything is just different um one big thing is i've always had allergy problems my entire life i've had allergy issues my entire life probably blown my blow my nose 10 times a day since for 30 years i'm 36 I, I, I it's all my life um consequently with doing a fruit fast you stop eating meat stop drinking soda so on and so forth no candy and and when i say i'm not gonna eat candy it's hard when i say i'm not gonna drink pop or soda it's, it's difficult or especially not eating meat it, it's it's difficult you know but when you take up the fruit fast, it's just a consequence of it. So without even thinking about it, I gave those things up. Guess what? Absolutely no mucus whatsoever. And I didn't even notice until one day I caught myself breathing through my nose. And I, I've just, I've just, I'm a person that's never been able to do that. I've always been congested, so on and so forth. But there's just no mucus. I don't sneeze. I don't cough. I don't blow my nose. Uh, I'm clear. I don't get sick. I don't have, like, my throat doesn't get sore. I don't have headaches. I, like, I don't go through these 
situation like this just doesn't happen to me anymore since I gave those things up. And then I told you I, I broke the fast. So I was completely clear. Then I stopped it and I ate a little bit, which I'm not proud of, but I did it. And, th and then guess what? I'm blowing my nose, so on and so forth. I stopped clear again. It's, it's, it's evident that something in there that's making this happen. I don't want to get into the conspiracies. That's not what this is about. I'm just giving my take on fasting. I think it's great. Uh, it's a very healthy option. Um, you'll, you'll get, uh, it's something about it. When you start, people will just like attack you. A lot of people are interested in it and they want to try it. They just don't have the discipline or the willpower, you know, to do it. Um, I feel like most of those people, you'll get attacked a lot. Just be prepared if you're going to get into it. If you're watching this video, you're uh, six minutes in, you're, you're probably very interested in it. Man, just know people are going to come at you like from all angles. Oh, you shouldn't do that. Maybe you should just eat some meat. You need to be careful. And you ain't going to starve to death. If you're overweight or something, you ain't going to starve to death. You're going to pass those parasites, which is disgusting. You're going to pass those parasites. You're going to clean yourself out. You're going to be breathing different. You're going to be feeling different. You're going to go to the bathroom different. Your body's going to change. Your skin is going to change. You're going to itch less. You're going to you're going to fix yourself. Your body's going to repair itself. You're not going to die. You're not going to get hurt. Don't listen to that crap. Don't watch all. Don't watch. Don't do. Do do your research, but eyes open, open minded. Just know you're going to be OK. This is a good thing They they don't make money if you stop eating. Everywhere you go is snacks, grease, sugar, starches salt, everything, cookies and potato chips. They, they want you eating this stuff. They want you eating this stuff. And I'm not even going to get into why you shouldn't be eating it and all of that. Cause clearly I've eaten enough of it, you know, but it's better for you. It's better for you. It's better for you. You're not going to die. You'll be fine. I actually did a three day water fast. Didn't need a drop of nothing. I feel amazing, not not dizzy, all that's in your mind. You'll pass the first, once you get through that first four or five days, and you, you'll feel great, you'll feel amazing. You'll be you'll have those hunger pains, you'll have all of that, where you're really just fiending, you just want stuff that you always wanted. You'll get over it, it'll pass, and you'll be on a journey to a better you. Guaranteed, you'll love it. But if you're not committed mentally, if you're not there, it's going to be too difficult. It's not going to work. It's just not going to work. You got to be there mentally. Um, I, I just jumped right into it. All of that start slow crap. You don't really need to. But like I said, if you're not there mentally, you know, I've got other motives. Because some people just want to cleanse their body. Some people aren't overweight like I am. You know, um, a big time motivation for me is... You drop and you eat watermelon once once a day, like half a water half a wa watermelon one time a day, man. You're gonna drop like two and and you're active, man. You're gonna drop like two three pounds a day. Every single day you'll see the effect on the scale. The end of the week you'll be twenty pounds down. You know that's a major motivation for me. And so everybody's not in it for the same reasons. Some people just want to get healthy. Some people want to cleanse their body. Everybody's not looking to lose weight. If you are, it's an amazing way. Uh, I'll throw this out there. I don't really know the math, the science behind it, but the three-day water fast, I was excited. I thought I would get major results from no eating. No, I actually lost more weight eating once a day than no eating at all. I can't explain it. I don't understand it. Maybe somebody can get on here and explain it. I don't know. I lost more weight e eating once a day than when I ate nothing. I, I don't, I can't explain it. That's, that doesn't even sound like it makes sense. But I'm telling you, I, I basically lost no weight on the three-day water fast. But when I ate watermelon one time a day, I would still consistently lose two, three pounds a day. 
I, I can't explain it. But that's what happened. That's my take on it. If you want to do it, I support you. Let's go.